Hi, Martin here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add YouTube directly to the dock on Mac so that by the end of the video, you'll be able to access YouTube like any other application that you may have on your device. So let's get started. OK, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Safari. So click on Safari and then from here, navigate to YouTube.com. So I'd recommend logging yourself in so that when you open up YouTube, it's going to be there ready uh, with all of your favorite videos, subscriptions, etc. So once you've headed to YouTube and you've logged yourself in, go ahead and head to the top right hand corner and we're going to click on this share icon up here. So click on that and then the option that we're going to be looking for is this one here that says add to dock. So go ahead and click add to dock. We're going to keep the name as YouTube and it's going to navigate to this website here. So we're going to click add and you can now see. So if I click off here, you can see down here that I have this YouTube icon. I can click on that and it's going to take me directly back to YouTube where I'm already all logged in and I am ready to go. So if you use only use Safari on Mac uh, and you want to use YouTube via Safari, then that's it. You're done. And I hope it's been useful for you. However, if you do want to use YouTube with Chrome, then we can still add a uh, an application to our dock. There's just a couple more steps involved. OK, so what I'm going to do is head over to Google Chrome and again, I've navigated to the YouTube website. So from here, what we're going to want to do is click on the three dots over here, and then we're going to go all the way down to this cast, save and share. So from here, we're then going to go create shortcut and this create shortcut. Again, I'm going to keep the name as YouTube and it's going to navigate to youtube.com. So let's go ahead and click on create and you can now see that this has opened up essentially created a shortcut um, on my desktop. So we're not quite uh, at the dock just yet. In addition, the icon is it's fine. It's OK, but I don't know if I really want the Chrome icon on top of the YouTube icon. So I'm just going to show you an extra little tip in case you want to customize this icon as well. So. What you'll see that I have next to uh, the YouTube shortcut is this images folder. So what I've done previously is I have uh, downloaded the YouTube logo that I'm going to use as my icon for this Chrome YouTube shortcut. So I'm going to control click on here and then I'm going to click on get info. Now I'm going to leave this window over here for a second. I'm going to head back to my images and I'm just going to double click my image, which will open it up in preview. Now from here, I'm going to click edit and I'm going to click copy. I'm going to head back to this get info window for my shortcut and I'm going to click on the icon up here in the top left hand corner. So you can see when I click on it, it has this blue outline. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the shortcut for paste, which is command V. And you can see that my icon has now changed and you can see it's changed over here on the desktop as well. Now, the last thing I'm going to do before I add it down to my dock is that you can also see that we have the extension on here as well, which again doesn't look as clean as as uh, you would like, certainly not as clean as I would like. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and in this info pane, come down to about the middle and you'll see here there's a uh, checkbox that says hide extension. So I'm going to check that box so you can see I now have a nice clean YouTube icon that just has the name YouTube. So I can go ahead, close all of these windows. And then the final step is that I can take this icon and I can drag it down to my dock down here. And then if I click on that icon, that's going to go ahead and open up YouTube in Chrome with all the inbuilt Google functionality. So I really hope that this video has been useful for you. So that's how you can essentially get a YouTube application, whether you're using Safari, whether you're using Chrome, and it just easily allows you to access YouTube without having to go through bookmarks, opening browsers and so on. So it's been useful. Please like the video, comment down below 
and subscribe for more. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.